Hey everyone, I'm Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. So 2016 is over, it's done. And to be honest, I know it was a really rough year and a tough year, but I'm very blessed to say that 2016 was one of the best years I've ever had. I think emotionally, spiritually, through my job and my relationships and friends and family. I think all in all, it was definitely a blessing and I'm very excited and very expectant for what 2017 has to offer. But today we're here to talk about my favorite products, favorite things that I used and abused, I feel like, over the year of 2016. So without any further ado, we're just gonna hop right into it. Okay, to start, so I'm gonna start with skin. And I have been lucky enough to try a lot of different products and some of them really, were really good. And I knew okay, the best. But one of the products and brands um, overall that I really, really liked is Context. And the first product we're gonna talk about is the Daily Facial Cleanser by Context. And this face wash, sorry for the little wash out, my lighting's like real bright right now. So I really like this face wash. It has a lot of really good ingredients in it. It's not crazy off the scale in terms of price, but it it's not also really cheap. And that is because the ingredients that it has in it, like jojoba, cucumber, lemon extract. So some really yummy things for your skin. And once you use it, it is a gentle face wash. Your face doesn't feel completely like, tight and really that like scrubby sensation. You know when like all the moisture has been sucked out of your face and it just feels extremely tight and like you like slide your hands down your face and you kind of feel like that, eh! like you can hear that sound almost. It does not leave your skin like that. You feel moisturized, but also it did remove any one makeup, but also impurities that were in your face. So I really, really like this face wash. Literally like I am out, completely empty the sucker out and definitely will be getting another bottle because I really love it that much. Also the brand is unisex, so everyone should feel free and comfortable to use it. So to wash my face, which I did actually use this in common, the Context Face Wash in combination with this product, it's the Clarisonic Mia Fit. Uh, Clarisonic did send this out to me, so thank you very much. Um, but don't worry, this is still gonna be totally an honest review. When I got it, I was like not sure because I'd heard with the first Clarisonic, like if you overuse it, like women could grow like facial hair or something. I don't know, I was like freaked out and I was like, nah, I'm good, like I don't need any more hair, because clearly I have a ton, and that's not a cute look for me. But anyway, so they sent this along, and I like this because it is a very compact size. It does have two different speeds on it, speeds one, speeds two, and it also has two different heads. So I actually have the first number, the head number one, which is a softer one, and then you could use head number two, I guess, as a little bit more of a more exfoliating, even though this is pretty exfoliating, um, head, and it's awesome. It gives you, you know, you just use it. Like a, I guess like a minute and a half long process. It gives you like 20 seconds on your on your forehead, 30 seconds on your cheek, and then down your T zone, and that's it. You're done. The battery lasts forever with this. When I went to London and I was there for nine days, I took it and I didn't take its charger. To be honest, I was like, well, if it's gonna last, it's gonna last. If not that I'm just gonna use it manually because what am I gonna do? And the battery lasted the entire time. It comes with a charging plate, so you just like literally set it on and it starts charging and you plug it, it's USB, so you can plug it into a USB to wall adapter or you can plug it into your computer, which is usually what I do. But I really, really love this. I highly recommend this. So yeah, this is really awesome. Next, and one of my like most favorite things, I said this, I, Tell us everyone who asks, like, what do you use in your skin? Like, it's looking really good, or how, how do you keep your skin healthy and looking fresh? It's the Peter Thomas Roth 3% Retinoid Plus High Potency Retinoid Serum. This stuff is amazing. You will literally see instant results, like, within a week of using it, from day one to day seven. You will see your skin transform. And this is great because it is. It helps even the skin tone, it smooths rough skin texture, and it reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles, and it helps with anti-aging. Like, check, please, I'm done. Thank you, that's all she needed. Like, can you bag it? Thank you, receipt. The, what else do you need? It really is the best. Um, this stuff is extremely pricey, for sure, but 
it is worth it. If you if this is a little bit out of your price range, there is an advanced 2% retinoid by The Ordinary, and I'll leave the link below for that too. Um, and that one's $9.80, so I definitely recommend that if you wanted to also just test it out, see if it's good for your skin. It's $10 versus, I believe, the $82 that this costs. And this is one fluid ounce. Last skincare items, and I'm just gonna put the entire set of three. Um, and I've actually talked about these oils before. They are by Lene Botanicals, and I have all three of, well, it's actually technically two facial oils and then one facial serum. I use these every single night, every single night, along with the retinoid. And these are really great because they have a repair face oil, they have a balance face oil, and then the renew system. They're all amazing. My absolute favorite is, you actually have to shake it a little bit, the renew face serum. And the reason why this one's my favorite is because I really feel like I can see a difference in my skin's texture and tone after I use it. So the Renew Face and Neck Oil, it improves hydration, increases elasticity, it strengthens the capillaries, and it also reduces inflammation and helps the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So you really see a difference. Again, these are also on the pricier end, but they do have, I don't have the full size bottle, the full size is 92, but they do have these small trial and tester bottles, and these are significantly cheaper. Last, and it's not really a skincare item, it's more of an oral hygiene item, is my Quip toothbrush. I don't know if you guys have heard of these or not, but it's a startup. I was actually lucky enough to meet the owners and the Quip team. And they, essentially what it is, is a subscription-based toothbrush. So you purchase up to a year and you'll get your chosen handle, whatever shade, color, or texture you like. And then every three months you're gonna get a new head. So you, so you crack off the top and inside you have your battery. And it takes a AAA battery, but when they send you the brand new head every month, they also include a battery, so you don't have to go out and buy batteries. I think it's $45 for the membership. I'm not completely sure, but I think so. And then it also comes with a travel protector. But what's really cool about this is on the back, it has this squeegee material so you can stick it to anything and it never gets unsticky. So you can put it up on your wall in your bathroom and that way you can just set your toothbrush in it and you're good to go or peel it off the wall when you're traveling and use it as a lid. Next on to makeup to start a foundation I just saw myself using over and over and over and over again was honestly the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. I have two shades here. I have 228 Soft Tan and 330 Toffee. And sometimes, most of the time, I'd use Soft Tan on the bottom of my face and Toffee at the top just because my, my forehead is a little bit darker than the rest of my face. The foundation works for me. It works really well. It keeps me nice and matte, but it's also not too heavy on the skin. So I don't feel like my clogs are being significantly, my clogs, my pores are being significantly clogged. And the shade range is awesome. I mean, they have a million and one shades, so everybody can use it. I, yeah, I really like this foundation. For a setting powder, this is, comes at no surprise, I think, the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I use it all over the face, I use it to bake. It's a really finely milled powder, and it doesn't give me that white bounce back cast in flash photography, which is, ah, thank you, because it's the most obnoxious thing ever. Yes, it's pricey, but they also do have a travel size, which I think comes with the puff inside. This is not the Laura Mercia puff. I got one from another brand because that was free. <laughs> yeah, I think if you buy the travel size, you get the puff free. So you might as well just get the travel size. Hello. For a under eye highlight and contour, again, not a surprise. I love the Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter Contour Palette. Clearly, don't really think I even need to say I loved it. I love this contour shade because it's a cool contour shade. A lot of them look really red on my skin tone and I really like that it doesn't look natural to me. 
and the highlighting powder is just the right shade for my under eyes. I can use it all over, but I just prefer to use it to continually bright, continuously brighten my under eyes after I put concealer on. And it's just my ride or die. I literally travel with this all the time. And also, that's a testament to the packaging too. Not a break, not a crack, nothing. The pans are still in there, so I definitely recommend this. If you follow me on Instagram, which I'll have that here somewhere, wherever, um, I've had a pretty consistent look over the year, or over the year, yeah, yeah, I guess over the year. And something that's been my thing are silver eyebrows. So to do that, I use three different products, but one's not out yet, so I can't talk about it yet. But one that I use is the ColourPop Cream Liner in Kicker, and this is just a beautiful silver, looks white on me, there you go, a beautiful silver cream liner. It is the perfect silver. It goes so well with my hair and with the aesthetic I'm going for. So that's the one thing. It's like $5 for this cream liner. Amazing. And if I don't feel like using the pot or if you don't feel like traveling with that, I travel with the Urban Decay Eye Pencil in Cuff. And this is just the exact same silver, but it's just in a coal pencil. Love that. Also, I've been loving the wet eyelid look that also has become my staple look. It's a wet eyelid with the completely blown out lower lash line. And to achieve that look, I use the Milk Makeup Eye Vinyl in Bridge. Holy grail, ride or die, freaking love this. The wet eyelid look is just completely my aesthetic and it feels very me. And you literally just crank it up and just use the tip applicator to apply. It literally takes like five seconds to apply it and you have like a really wet eyelid look. It's amazing and it lasts all day. Speaking of my blown out lower lash, the two items I used the most to create that look were the Milk Makeup Eye Pigments in Rave and Sesh. It's the purple and the blue. These suckers last all day, so you wanna make sure you know exactly where you're applying it and how you're applying it. So once they set, they set girl, so they ain't going nowhere. So you better know what you're gonna do with it. But I have used these for eyeliner. I use these in my eyebrows as well. You can use these as mascara. You can use these anywhere. You can use these all over shadow, of course. Duh, I mean, they're cream shadows. Um, but they're simply the best. There's so much product and you need such a little amount that you'll have these for a really long time. My choice mascara of 2016 was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Shocker, I use this in probably, I think, every single tutorial that I did in 2016. I just love the formula, I love the brush. Everything about this mascara did me right and did me well in 2016, and I love it. I change my eyebrow product all the time. I threw away my Wonder Brow because I finished it and I just didn't go back and buy a new one, but that is my favorite holy grail eyebrow products. But again, I don't have the product, so oops. But um, going along with that, a pencil that actually my mom got me is the Your Best Friend Eyebrow Pencil in Universal Taupe, and that's actually what I'm wearing right now. It's great for my natural days when I don't wanna do too much of a brow, but I want to have like something on my brows, and it's just typical eyebrow pencil with a really soft brush at the end. Usually they're really tough to get through, but this one's really soft. I really love it. It's great packaging, feels really nice in your hand, and the products last all day on my brows. We are winding down to our last two beauty products before we go to tools. Favorite, favorite blush was the NYX New To Me Ombre Blush. This was sent to me in a PR package and I ended up falling in love with it over 2016. As you can see, it's just a very beautiful light terracotta blush with an ombre highlighter right here. I used and abused this and I still have so much left, even though a little bit of the highlight is starting to rub off so you can clearly tell it was a highlight overlay. It's not mixed into the product, but that's okay. Um, these blushes are, I think, are $6.99, either $6.99 to $10.99, somewhere between there. And you get a really good amount of product, and it's NYX. They're really good quality, and the pigment pigmentation is definitely there. A little bit goes a long way. 
I love, love this blush. Like, yes, girl, yes, I love this blush. And lastly, for my makeup products that were my fave, I'm just like making sure that I like grabbed everything, yeah, is a highlight, duh. I feel like 2016 was definitely the year of the highlight. Say what you want about it, whatever. And my choice highlighter was the Sleek Makeup Highlighter, and this is in Cleopatra's Kiss. This is the palette that came with two powder highlights and two cream highlights. Uh, I really like this because the cream highlights didn't drag on the skin. Really beautiful, you see that? Oh my gosh, complete, so gorgeous. And they melt beautifully into the skin. And this looks good on everybody because you have the lighter highlight and a little bit of a golden highlight here. I mean, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's really inexpensive. I love the gold packaging. And this highlight, like, girl, <laughs> your highlight was popping after you use this palette. On to tools. My choice tool for blending out sometimes foundation, usually I use a brush for foundation, but sometimes foundation, but most definitely concealer, was da, the Beauty Blender. I have the Beauty Blender in nude and I have the Beauty Blender in black. For some reason, I always reach for the black, but it's probably because my favorite uh, color to wear is, color hue to wear is black and white. And yeah, the Beauty Blender, I've got no negative things to say about it. Probably known as anyone else because it's the favorite tool of everybody, but it really is amazing and so worth it. Next are my, my three favorite brushes of 2016 were the e.l.f. and this is technically the face slash blush brush. It was $3 from the e.l.f. store and I use it to set my under eyes and also set the powder all down the bridge of my nose and chin. It is amazing. $3, you, you can't beat it, but I like that it is tapered on the ends, but the point isn't too pointy, so you like can't like get in. You can definitely get into the inner corners of your eyes, which is so nice. And you can see it's also not super fluffy. It's a little bit on the thinner side, which is so great. So definitely you can pack a lot of product onto this brush. And you can use it for a lot of different things. I use it to set my under eyes and my chin and my nose, but you can use it all over if you like, or you can just use it for blush as well, because I'm sure this would be a great brush for blush. Wow, say that three times fast. Next brush is the Morphe Contour Brush. Now this came from a brush roll, so there is no number on it, if you can see, but I'm sure you can easily find it, especially because it does have the white bristles at the end. Best contour brush because if you can see it is extremely it's also extremely dirty so excuse that but if you can see it is extremely extremely dense so it really does get in there carve out your cheekbones and it can also buff out the shade that you're using for your contour beautifully I travel with this I love this this is my ride or die I'm definitely gonna buy a backup if for any reason it starts to shed or it's time to go I will have a backup because I love this that much and my last Excuse me. This brush favorite of 2016 was the Morphe M509, and this is the highlight brush that everybody and their mother loves, and I totally understand why. It is such a good shape and size for a highlight, and it distributes the product perfectly. There's really nothing more I can say other than it is the perfect highlight brush. So last and certainly not least, are lashes and you guys probably already know what i'm gonna say but my favorite lashes of 2016 were the velour strike oppose lashes and these are beautiful and perfect because they are the perfect size excuse the band they're quite dirty so i already know you don't need to tell me they are the perfect size perfect shape for me just a little bit it's a little hot they're not too large and too fluffy but they're also enough that it makes such a difference once you put them on. For me, this is like the perfect everyday lash or everyday look lash. I definitely put on like a, a larger lash if I'm doing very dramatic looks, but I find myself reaching for these more often than not. To adhere my lashes, and this is the very last product, I love the Velour Lashes Lash Glue. This comes with a actual applicator, which I really love that you can brush on the glue so that way you can control how much you want on the lashes. And when I say this stuff, 
sticks. Like it keeps your, you're like, you can keep your lashes on for days and you would have it still at the end of the like three days, have a tough time pulling them off. This is the stickiest lash glue I have yet to try. It's amazing, it was $12. I think I got these two together at the makeup show NYC. And so obviously you get like a discounted rate because it's the makeup show. But I would definitely recommend these two together or if you're just looking for new glue, definitely give the Velour Lashes glue a try. I am such a fan and follower and I get it now why people are obsessed with this glue. I love it. So those are my favorite products of 2016. I hope this video wasn't too long, but I hope it was a little bit of a little bit informative about the things I like and I use. And I'd love you to comment below things that you've tried that you've seen here, or things that you recommend me to try because you know your girl loves trying new product. Yeah, I'm excited for 2017, and I have no idea what's to come for this channel, but that's what. Is exciting. A lot of you who follow me on uh, Instagram know that like fashion is my first love. I went to fashion school. I live in New York City. I love just fashion and the art, just the cultural aesthetic and the community aspect of it. You know, like I love arts and culture. So I'm definitely going to be doing some more conceptual lookbooks, more art focused versus about the exact fashion of it. But obviously, it's going to be like fashion focused. But anyway. Tangent, tangent. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.